And for the estimated six and a half million Americans living with Alzheimer's disease, really any advancement in treatment brings just a ray of hope. In our HealthCast today, we're looking at some promising new drugs in development as well as one that's already on the market. Following a $289 million increase signed into law in March of this year, funding for Alzheimer's research is now at an all-time high, $3.5 billion annually. Dr. James Galvin with UHealth's Comprehensive Center for Brain Health says one of the most recent advancements to come out of that research is a drug called lecanemab, which has the potential to change the course of the disease. This is an antibody against amyloid protein. Amyloid protein is the protein that deposits in the Alzheimer brain. Mm -hmm. What this phase three study demonstrated is that people treated with lecanemab showed a less decline in their cognitive ability, so a 27% difference between the placebo group, and it was very highly significant finding. And an antipsychotic drug already on the market called Rixalti has been shown to calm Alzheimer's-related agitation. Galvin says although it's not specifically approved for that purpose, it could be prescribed off-label. Medicines have indications, and that's on-label. But in real-world practice, physicians will often use medicines off-label, and that might be based on their experience or on reports in the literature. Right? So there might be studies that show a medicine works, but it doesn't have an indication. So if you choose to write that medicine, then it becomes an off-label use. And so here's how things stand. The developers of Rixalti plan to seek approval from the FDA to use this drug in Alzheimer's patients. And the other company behind Lecanemab has already asked the FDA for accelerated approval. A decision on that could come as early as January of this upcoming year.